a brother that's four years older and another that's eight years older. It pushed me to want to be at their level. When we would go to the baseball field and practice, they wouldn't take it easy. They would throw full speed and say I'm 10 years old catching an 18 year old throw coming at me. So you, you, you got to be good at catching that ball. If not, you're going to get hit. And when they lost, I, I wanted to play again until I won. So definitely helped with the competitive edge. My favorite way to play the show is head-to-head -head against my best friend. I grew up a Red Sox fan. It's state law. You have to like the Red Sox. And for whatever reason, my friend decided he was going to play as the Yankees. And I think it was mainly just to sort of give me a hard time about it. But when you're playing your friend, there's nothing more satisfying than beating him. And conversely, there's nothing more irritating than losing to him. And the only thing that matters is winning. Keep track of the score, and at the end of the day, who wins? And so that's really how I take the game. Oh, this is good. We had played a series. We were game seven, all tied up. I had won game six. But when the game started, he was hitting the ball all over the field. I couldn't put anything together. And he's talking a lot of trash, and it's annoying. And I was like, the only way I'm going to get him to be quiet is if I start playing some ball here. With failures, you start asking questions and you start learning because before you have success everywhere you're at, you never ask questions. You just think that you just do. If you're not doing well, you know that there's something you can do to get better. I was running out of time. It was the bottom of the eighth. I was down by six runs. And so he was like, you know what? I'm just going to wait for my pitch. I'm going to wait for a fastball and I'm not going to be tempted by some of the off speed garbage or, you know, stretching for something. And sure enough, as the next couple pitches came through, I was just seeing them better. So you have a split second to recognize a pitch, see if it's gonna be a ball or a strike, and swing and put a contact on it. I mean, it takes a lot of work ethic to get to a point where we can even just put the ball in play, and not just putting the ball in play, but putting in the ball in play with authority. I started hitting. I got a single, double off the green monster, a walk, another single. And I'm looking over at him, and he's sort of like, you know, he's, he's leaning in a little bit more, like trying a little bit harder. And it's 6 4. You know, the key to hitting is getting a good pitch. If you get a good pitch, I don't care how your swing is, you're going to put it in play, and good things are going to happen. So he brings in a new pitcher. I've got the bases loaded, and Adrian's up. It's like sort of a perfect scenario, but I still have got to see the ball. If you play the game and you guess the same pitch at the same location every pitch, in essence, that's what I'm doing at the plate. Well, the first pitch, it's high and outside. It's garbage. The next one, I can't believe what I'm seeing. He throws it right down Broadway. The thing looks like the size of a beach ball. You know, you focus on the zone, not the pitch. But if the pitch starts in that zone, then you let it go. Adrian just cranks on it, sends it out into right field, grand slam. I'm up 8-6. I look over at him. He doesn't even know what hit him. He's like ghostly white. I'm about to take his temperature. I remember almost every hit. You're just kind of caught in the moment of, of the fans cheering and knowing that you have to touch every base for it to count. We go to the top of the ninth. I shut him down. One, two, three. End of conversation. The series is over and he literally fell out of his chair and was just quiet on the floor for like 10 minutes. Even in the times of success nowadays, I'm still always looking to tweak things and get to that point where everything just clicks. It's something that I've always had in me, that drive that you always want to succeed and always want to stand out and be the best you can be. He didn't want to play me for a couple of days. I remember he was a little bit bummed out, but it was a great feeling. There's nothing else that will simulate a game the way that the show does. This is Adrian Gonzalez. My name's Damien. And this is my story from the show. My story from the show. MLB 12 The Show. So real. It's unreal.